this group of underprivileged children has been steadily improving. They've even performed at a Cairo University concert. It's been a long journey for Sahab, who had to abandon traditional methods in order to reach out to the children. I challenged myself and I said something needs to be done with them. I abandoned all the academic methods that I was taught because that did not work with them. I started creating my own methods to make them love singing until from 800 students we had 120 to 130 students. I started a closed camp for them, six days where every day they would train six or so hours from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Sahab says the idea came to him after seeing the suffering of children begging or selling goods in the street. We can say that it was a social issue. When I would be on the street and see children selling tissue, I would say, what if that child had the chance to learn? He could have been better than me. He could have become a genius, a doctor or an inventor. Why don't we provide a chance for these children to learn and shine and show us their talent? It was hurtful for me. The disadvantaged children, particularly those living on the street, have loads of problems. While they are impoverished and suffer from lack of opportunities, many are also dealing with psychological issues. They were very unhappy with themselves and society. They were very depressed and this is why I worked on two fronts. The inner front which includes their psychological state and the musical front which I taught them. No, I don't want to sing. I don't want to sing. No, you will sing and you will love singing. Until they all loved it and began singing and even sang at a concert. The music workshops have had a profound impact on some of the students. Ramadan, who used to work on the streets of Cairo until he was scouted by a member of Sahab's team, says he hopes to continue singing. Now, one could really look at himself. It is a really nice thing. I feel deep inside that I will still be something nice. I feel that I will sing and make it. I'm sure I will sing. According to UNICEF, Egyptian NGOs estimate numbers of street children in the country to be in the tens of thousands.